Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. I'm going to try to post uh, every other week. In this video, I want to quickly go over how you can self-host your own Nextcloud instance. Um, that way you can host your own server with your own data and you don't have to rely on Google or OneDrive. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get started. Um, in this video, I have used Ubuntu 22.04 instance. Um, it's in a virtual machine hosted on VMware. Um, I am already SSH into the virtual machine. I'm going to start off with the steps. Uh, first things first, we're going to run apt update. Make sure everything is updated. All the uh, source lists are updated. Next, we're going to install Apache Web Server and PHP. So I'm going to be posting all the commands as usual in the description. That way it's easier to follow along um, with the video as you're watching. All right, um, next step is to install our SQL server. Uh, we're going to use MariaDB server. That should be very quick. Next, we're going to log into SQL Server. Uh, we're going to create a database for Nextcloud. We're going to create a user uh, and grant access to that database to that user and uh, exit out of SQL. So first things first, let's uh, log in. Right now, I'm not currently logged in as root. So the following steps, I'm going to do it with root. So sudo dash i, make sure you see root there and then my SQL dash U root dash P. Actually, we don't need a password. There, might, there won't be any password, so you can just press enter uh, without entering anything. And next step is to create database, next cloud. And then we're going to create a user called admin and we're going to set a password admin 123 next we're going to assign that user full access on the next cloud database so the commands will be in the description so you can literally copy and paste um, next step is to flush privileges and then next would be exit so we have our database created next step is to install the PHP modules. Okay, once that's done, we would go to our HTML directory, which is cd slash bar slash www slash HTML. Enter. Next, we're going to install the, uh, we're going to download the Nextcloud instance. Um, sudo and then HTTPS, whatever uh, the URL is. So I'm going to call it wget. That way it gets the zip file. There we go. So if I click LS, it's downloaded Nextcloud version 24. Um, I'm going to install unzip because it doesn't come default with Ubuntu. So in my case, it's, I have already installed it. But this is the command you're going to need um, if unzip isn't present. And then I can do unzip and then do the Nextcloud 24. This should create a Nextcloud directory within our HTML directory and it's going to extract everything to it. 
Once we have that next step, we want to change ownership of the next cloud folder. Make sure um, www. Uh, www. data, which is the web server, has full access. We're going to make it the owner of the directory. And uh, next step would be to create the Apache virtual host now. So I'm going to create a nextcloud.conf and I can go edit that file, just sudo nano nextcloud.configuration. And you want to put your, or you want to create your virtual host and put all these details. I'm going to put that again in the description so you can copy and paste it. Um, this, this is basically server name is your nextcloud.itera.ca. It's for me, it'd be different for you. Um, document root is the directory where we have our nextcloud install extracted. Again, directory, same thing. Just copy exactly the same way as this one is. And you can press control O and control X. Once you have that file saved, next step is to actually enable that configuration since it is created. So I would enter enable site nextcloud.conf. Before we do that, we also want to enable rewrite mo mod. Um, for me, it's already enabled. Uh, it won't be enabled for you. Once you run those two commands, simply restart Apache server. So I'm going to call the service Apache 2 restart. Uh, there's an additional configuration that we need. Uh, we need to go to nano slash etc slash apache apache2.conf and we need to search for override by pressing control plus w. That should open a search prompt and just type override and you want to come down where it says directory slash var slash www and allow override. Make sure this is set to all and not none. It should be set to all. Uh, in order for the configuration to work. So once you have that done, press control plus O, press enter, and then press control plus X. That way that configuration is saved. Next thing, I'm going to restart Apache server one more time. And um, one more thing we need to do is since we have defined server name in our virtual host file, um, we are going to have to create a DNS record now for the web. So I already have my hole set up here um, nextcloud.itera.c pihole is my DNS server um, and you can set up your internal IP to point to nextcloud.itera.c once you have that done um, it should be pretty simple um, next we can visit the website and there we go it is going to prompt you to create your nextcloud admin uh, specify some database uh, parameters. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create my password and my admin account. We can leave data folder as is. This is going to be pointing to the next cloud folder that we had extracted and there should be a data folder within it. Database user, in this case, we have admin. Um, our password was admin123. Our database name was nextcloud and I'm going to click on install. This might take a few minutes, uh, but this should create all the configuration that is needed. It's going to create your admin account, um, and then once it's completed, you'll be greeted with the login screen. Or not, not really a login screen, but um, a screen where it says what apps you want to install. So I'll just give it a moment. And right here, I'm just going to click on install recommended apps. All right, there we go. So we have successfully installed Nextcloud, and uh, we are. This is the dashboard. As you can see, what it can do. Um, we have files. We can upload files here. Uh, we can store photos. We can even do collaborative work, um, video calls, um, chats. It can act as your mail client. 
Um, you can store contacts. You can use it as calendar. So pretty neat. So next, I want to go over how you can secure this using SSL. Uh, as you can see right now, our configuration is solely working on port 80, which is definitely not secure. So I want to create a SSL certificate, a self-signed SSL certificate, um, encrypt all our traffic on port 443. Let's, uh, we're going to go into CD slash ETC, Apache 2, sites available, LS. So this is our next cloud configuration that we just created. What we want to do next is we're going to create a copy of the same configuration. Um, CP call next cloud conf, and then I'm going to call it next cloud SSL.conf. So that configuration is going to be for the SSL certificate. And uh, before we go into that file and edit it, you want to do a uh, nano default SSL, which is this file. Um, the reason we're visiting this file is so that we can get the SSL. We're going to use the self-signed shirts that are already present. And this, this SSL will give us the path uh, to that SSL. So uh, if I go nano default SSL, um, we can see it says SSL engine on and uh, certificate files are within these directories. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that in Notepad for now because I will be needing it in our next cloud SSL configuration. So I'm going to minimize that. Control X. Uh, we don't want to save anything. Uh, I'm going to go nano nextcloud SSL.conf. Um, so a few changes we want to make here. We're going to call this 443. Uh, everything else remains the same. You want to add SSL engine here, call it on, and then we can paste that configuration that we had saved or put it on uh, that we had it on the on our notepad. And uh, that should be it. I will control O, control X to save. And uh, we are going to enable this configuration now. So A2 and site next cloud SSL. So we have it enabled. Now, because it's using SSL engine, we also need to enable SSL mod. So I'm going to call it A2N mod SSL. And that's good. Uh, and then we can simply restart. Uh, service restart. Oops. Service Apache 2 restart. That's the command. There we go. So now if I go type https nextcloud.itar.ca. There we go. Our SSL works. Although it says not private, that's fine. Um, as long as we can visit the website, um, the data is encrypted with the self-signed search. So that's good. So that's it. Um, we have our SSL certificate set up as well. So when you do visit the website, although you see HTTPS not secure, it is secure, it is encrypted. Um, if you wanna know how to get rid of this prompt, you can watch my previous video. I've created a Nginx proxy manager video along with Docker. Um, you can follow that and create a proxy host um, to route your traffic to your next cloud server through your Nginx proxy manager. And that should get rid of the SSL certificate. Um, if you guys want me to create a video on that, uh, specifically for Nextcloud, I can do that. Um, if you do want it, let me know in the comments. Um, but for now, um, that would be it. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video if possible, and uh, bye for now.